All right, Dylan, appreciate that. Well, Lexington Habitat for Humanity, they're excited to announce that this fall they're serving their 500th homebuyer household. And since their founding nearly 40 years ago, Lexington Habitat has worked toward a world where everyone has a decent place to live. And this month, the organization begins work on a townhome for its 500th homebuyer household. And with us today to share the success story is Daryl Neer, the CEO of Habitat for Humanity, and Laura Daly, Marketing and Communications Manager. Guys, welcome to the show. Thanks Appreciate for having you me. being here. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so give us an overview, first of all, um, of Habitat for Humanity and what it is that you do. Sure. Um, our mission is to um, ensure that everyone has a safe, affordable place to live. And we focus on home ownership um, here in Lexington and Fayette County. And we are working with families who meet three criteria. Um, one, there has to be an, a need, and that could be they live in substandard housing and, mm. and need more stability. Um, it can be overcrowding. And more increasingly, we're seeing families who are paying more than 30 percent and sometimes 50 percent of their income on housing. Uh, Kentucky Housing Corporation just released a housing study that said in Lexington we have 30 percent of our homeowners or 30 percent of renters or homeowners paying over 50 percent of their income wow. on housing and so that pressure clearly creates instability. Yes. Yeah. Um, it also creates an environment where we are working with families who are trying to find a pathway to home ownership but there are no homes to buy yeah. and so that's where we step in and work in partnership with our families to help them find well, uh, a safe state. You all have done just amazing work through the years. We're blessed to have this organization as part of our community. The 500th home is something to celebrate alone, but I'm curious the, the story behind the uh, recipient of this home. Yeah, so Marsha is our 500th home buyer household. Um, she is a Lexington native. She mm. grew up here. She actually grew up in the east end of Lexington. Okay. And so she is excited to return to that community. Her townhome will be in that area, and she's really looking forward to it. Um, Wonderful. She said she felt like she was going home. Aww. She's a longtime employee of Fayette County Public Schools, um, and she's just extremely excited to have a place of her own to host her family, to host her grandkids, her daughters, and we're really looking forward oh, to this working sounds like a, This incredible. sounds like a win. Yeah. Yes, yes. Love so that. let's talk about what the benefits are of being a homeowner. What does this mean to those folks? Certainly, when, you, when we talk about home ownership, um, it opens up so many opportunities, especially mm -hmm. if you're coming out of substandard housing. I mean, you think about the health impacts um, that can come from a, a safe place to live. Mm -hmm. um, you think about the educational impacts for children who uh, may be moving from school district to school district, um, and or school system to school system, and their stability and the educational outcomes we see improve. Um, but of course, you also have the wealth building. Mm -hmm. um, for we, we oftentimes take that for granted. Right. Um, but that pathway from being a renter to be a homeowner to be able to, to build wealth through that stability of housing is, yes. is also a powerful that's, impact. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. There's also, unfortunately, a misconception out there that Habitat gives away homes, but that <laughs> couldn't be further from the truth. There is skin in the game and, and considerable uh, from, from these folks. So can we talk a little bit to that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, when we talk about, I mean, that's their biggest myth that we, we confront. Um, and so our partner families, when they enter, one step is, um, they go through educational classes, and so they're talking about learning what does it mean to be a homeowner. They're mm -hmm. also uh, committing time and volunteering not only on their home build, but other home builds. Also volunteering in our ReStore, so they're putting in 250 hours per adult wow. into the, the, the support of the Habitat mission. Yeah. Um, but also they're paying an affordable mortgage, Right. Mm -hmm. um, and that affordable mortgage um, allows them to purchase a home like you and I, uh, and also become taxpayers, uh, bearing property tax, and the impacts that that brings to our community as well. I love it. I do too. Mm. And where do people need to go to find out more information about Habitat for Humanity? Yeah, you can go to lexhabitat.org. Okay, all right. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming in today. Mention the ReStore, too. Great way for our viewers yes, to help. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Thank, mm -hmm. thank yes. you all, and congratulations. Yes, thank, thank, you. thank you so you. much. We'll be there for that. Mm -hmm. All right, stay with us, gang. Back in a minute. Incoming dishes.